This video will provide an example of how to work with the delta function. Uh, uh, with uh, by showing this particular property that if you multiply the argument of the delta function, that's the same thing as just taking the regular delta function and multiplying by the absolute value of that constant. And an important thing to note is whenever you're working with the delta function, you should almost always deal with it inside of integrals because that's when you can use its uh, filtering property. So since the only thing we're told is that B is a constant, we need to consider two uh, separate cases. We have to consider the case where B is greater than zero and also the case when B is smaller than zero. So to be able to work with the delta function in an integral, I'm going to take some arbitrary function f of x and consider what happens when you integrate it with the delta function scaled, whose argument is scaled by this constant B. To evaluate this integral, we're going to change variables to get rid of this b. We'll define x prime to be bx, which makes dx prime equal to b dx. And since b is a positive quantity, both of these are positive. Implementing our change of variables into this integral, we replace x by x prime over b. We're left with the delta function of x prime. To keep our uh, differential here dx the same, we need to divide out this b, so we're left with one over b dx prime. So one over b dx prime is equal to dx. And this is equal to So we just took out the one over B because it's a constant. And the filtering property of the delta function picks out the value of F when its argument is equal to zero. Okay, so this was just by using the filtering property of the delta function. And you can check for yourself what happens when B is a negative constant and you should get an equivalent result, uh, but in such a way that ultimately, in general, you'd have to take the absolute value of B. So I encourage you to try that out on your own and check that you understand how to work with the delta function.